Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing a remake of a previous video I made two years ago. Well, it's like everything else guys, I get a bit of touch of whole CD. I'm looking at the videos thinking, oh, you know, if it was today I'd remake it and I thought, yeah, I'm going to remake it. And it's how it's made and it's Viennese biscuits in full blown HD. Also included in the video is a home baker's recipe. So you can follow along at home and make them at home. Please subscribe and please share and don't forget your recipe is below the video in the description and also you can find a full blown recipe on my Facebook at The Traditional Bakery under the photo. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. For the recipe, you want 12 ounces of softened butter, 8 ounces of caster sugar, and 12 ounces of plain flour. First thing guys, you put your sugar and your fat into the machine bowl. Now we'll start the machine up on first speed, and then we'll knock it up onto second speed for around about five minutes, until it's nice and light. Part way through, we'll give it a scrape down and then we'll put it back onto the machine and once again we'll mix it on second speed. Right, now we're going to start putting in half the flour to start with. Mix it in and let it clear. Right, we're going to knock it onto second speed just to let it clear. Right, now we're going to give it a good scrape down. Don't forget guys to get down to the bottom of your bowl to get the fat released off the bottom because it tends to stick at the bottom. And we'll put the machine back on to second speed. And then we'll put on to first speed and we'll now add in the rest of the flour. Just let that clear. Right, now we're going to knock that onto second speed. Right, and we're ready. Now we'll get this onto the table. And what you want is a piping bag, a star tube, And just fill your bag up. And all you're doing is piping it out onto the tray around about five inches long. Or you could do stars if you like. But be careful when you're piping with the bag because it tends to blow off as I call it. Obviously, as you can see, I'm actually doing a full batch of Viennese. But obviously, this ingredients are for you, for home bakers. Right, we're now ready for baking. Your oven temperature wants to be 350 Fahrenheit and we're gonna be baking them in the oven for around about 15 minutes. So they're nice golden brown. Not golden black, golden brown. Right, 
right as you can see in the oven infrared very cool right we're ready now what we're going to do now guys is take them out of the oven and you want to let these cool down for around about one hour Right, we're now ready to fill. Let's cool down. Now we're gonna turn one half over. And what we're gonna be doing is spreading them with chocolate fudge. This is the chocolate fudge. The recipe is under the video in the description. Pop the fudge into the microwave. Basically speaking, this is fondant and chocolate mixed together. And this makes your perfect chocolate fudge. So if you don't know what type of fondant this is, this is Baker's fondant. There is a recipe in the link below the video in the description. That's it, give it a good mix round. And once before you use it, give it another mix round. And then what we're gonna do is spread one half of the Viennese biscuit. And then we'll, what we're gonna do is just pop the top on. You can use a palette knife or you can actually pipe it on. I usually pipe it on, but for the video, I've decided to do it by hand because most people at home are most likely be doing it like this anyway. And there we go guys, almost finished. This is one of my top sellers in my shop. There we go, with the tops on. And there we go. And you just let them cool down for around about 15 to 20 minutes. So the center is solid. Right now, this is the chocolate drops. Now we'll pop that into the microwave. Now keep an eye on this. The best way of doing your chocolate really is a, in a bain marie with water under it. I do it in the microwave. That doesn't mean to say you have to do it in a microwave. You need to be very careful doing it in the microwave just in case you burn the chocolate. You don't want to overheat it. And that's ready. And now all we do is dip the viennese into the chocolate. Dip it in and give it a shake. Dip it in and give it a shake. It's as simple as that, guys. Now for this recipe, if you haven't got plain flour, you can use a baker's flour. I would suggest you using uh, Shipton Mill number one. Also, if you're at a caster sugar, you can use icing sugar as a replacement and make it the same way. And there you go, guys. Really, really scrummy. 
simples. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe and please share. And do check out the description below for your recipe and also do check my Facebook page at The Traditional Bakery. Again, there's recipes on that page for you guys. It's all free and subscribing is also free as well. Anyway, we'll see you again very shortly. Laters!